All right, get ready to see more people in those Waymo self-driving cars. The company announcing that anyone can now hail a ride before it's a special program. All right, so up until yesterday, only testers were able to use it. Colton got a chance to try it, so he's joining us uh, to tell us all about it. I got to ask you, it has to feel really weird, right? It really was for just a few minutes, Scott. It was crazy because you go in and then, you know, you're used to seeing someone in the uh, the driver's seats, but no, it was completely empty. And as you go on for about a couple of minutes, you're kind of uneasy about it. But after a while, it just starts to feel kind of normal. We caught up with Chris Ludwig with Waymo in downtown Phoenix. I'm going to, I just opened the Waymo One app. I'm going to request a ride for us. It's going to pick us up right here. We're going to go head over to Pop and Tea, and then we'll do a round trip and come right back. He told us starting today, anyone who has the Waymo One app can request one of their fully autonomous Jaguar I-Paces in the downtown area. And here it comes. There, doors popped open. You can ride on the other side. You can start right now. It's kind of unusual at first to see no one in the driver's seat and the steering wheel moving as if it is being driven by someone. This is in our new Gen 5 vehicle, the JLR, where we've made a lot of improvements, taken the best of what we've done in, in the East Valley and brought it here. Chris says we're riding in the future. Self-driving cars are becoming more popular and more advanced, and he says safety is always their top concern. This is a Jaguar. We work very closely with Jaguar to actually integrate all of our, our sensors and our equipment into the vehicle. We have a rigorous design and engineering process to basically understand everything that the car will need to do, um, write the software, write the tests uh, to ensure that we're confident. You missed this. Bizarre, right? And it wasn't even that expensive. Uh, we took a trip, I think altogether was about, uh, you know, just a few miles and it was six bucks. So pretty comparable to uh, Uber or Lyft. The thing is with this right now is they're only focusing on the downtown area. So if you want to hail a, a Waymo cab or ride, I should say, uh, only downtown for now, but they're hoping to expand uh, valley wide in the near future. So really cool, guys. What do you think?